Hey, this is Joseph, and I'm doing a little video here of our Lego basement. And I realize this place is really a disaster area. So what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks, or however long it takes, we're going to be taking everything apart, putting it back in the boxes, and I got to do an inventory. I have haven't had a decent inventory in a long time, and I want to work on uh, sorting some of this stuff out. And if we look here, here's one of the little tables. Uh, that the that's kids, mine. Yeah, that's Jacob's there's table. Right here. And he's got these little drawers, and all the pieces are just. He'll get stuff out, and then he'll put it in the drawers. And we're gonna go back and sort it back out. And look at our secret base right here, guys. Your secret base. All right, you always build some really good things there. I don't know what's going on. for the bad guys yeah. there okay. cool It's very cool. So none of this stuff is organized. I've got these containers. I've got boxes. A lot of this over here is empty boxes. Uh, there's the tower bridge. I've got an actual photo I took of that when I went over there. Yeah. But we're going to take that apart. We're going to take that apart too, though. I worked hard on it. Yeah. Oh, no. What? Those red base plates are not Lego pieces. I know, Dad. Those are only <laughs> red base plates. That's right. All right, and, we oh, got... and here are the remains of the satellite of Lego. Oh, you took the satellite of Lego apart. I take it apart. But we're going to take all these houses and all the um, modular buildings apart and all that junk over there mm -hmm. uh, because this basement is not organized. And it's not Lego space. And I'm gonna, I may do some little videos about how to organize and how not to organize. Well, you already did the video of how not to organize. Yeah, this is how not to do it. Alright, I'm going to give an example of how not to sort. Uh, what I used to do, so if I got a a lot I bought off of eBay or got it at a yard sale or something, I'd take it home and I'd sort it and I had these containers um, like this that I had labeled like black, red, all the primary colors of Lego, and then I'd sort them by color. And so then I'd have a box like this filled with uh, black pieces, for instance. But let's say you're looking for a particular piece. Oh my goodness, black is it's probably the hardest to go in there and find the piece. And so what I need to do, come up with a better way of organizing these. And I had at one time sorted them by the type. Now here's the area that is relatively sorted and inventoried at least. It's not sorted very well. i got to go through and uh, work on this, but this is my store, and I got this. It's kind of dark over here. And I got these bins, and I labeled my bins like this is A1, this is A shelf, B shelf, C, D, like that, and then I label them. So when I put some parts into my store, I put what bin they're in, and then I, when somebody orders something, I just come get it out of the bin. And I got these other containers, and this is where I really got to work on getting it organized. I I started labeling the containers like this has the trans color pieces like the you know the, the clear uh, various colors of clear and here's got like Duplo and jumbo bricks but um I gotta I gotta set it up where somebody could come in that never seen it and know how to find the pieces and I, I know where they are but if I was to get somebody else to do it they might not know where they are now. Uh, I used to sort too by types of pieces, like plates. I still relatively do, but I'm going to start just putting stuff in boxes and labeling the boxes. I got these that I, I, I've i started. I know it's kind of dark over here. But I want to get this organized. And I got this other bin. Here, here's my gray bin. So I call these gray, and I got A, A B, C, D again over here. And that's where the pieces are. And then some of them I'd put, if I had a lot of a particular piece, I'd just put them in their own box. And there's all some of the sets. And that's the, uh, oops. And then I have some boxes with sets in them. And I gotta get that organized so that I can find the set. Sometimes somebody will order a set and I forget where I put it. And it takes me a couple hours. Well, it don't take a couple hours. It takes me a little while to figure out where I put it. And then 
here's like some of my used sets. I put the set number on the box, and some of these I can just ship right away in the box, like that. So that's my inventory for my store, and I want to still get it organized, but uh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> All right, here's some of the modular buildings that they made mini modulars. Here's the mini modular, and there's the original. It's the I forgot what that one was called. Me too. Oh, the blue. You know. Mar market place blue or market. something. I can't remember. I can't remember what it is. The box is over there somewhere. I'll go look. And then you got the cafe corner. That was, I think, the first modular building. I actually bought it. Um, right. You know, if you buy this new from somebody on eBay or something, it's going to be over a thousand dollars usually. Uh, I bought it, on, it? <laughs> I bought it on sale from Lego when they originally made it. And then here's the um, Green Grocer. That's what that one is. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites. And then the mini model. And then the fire station. That's pretty cool. Table on <laughs> oh yeah, it's got a ping pong table. I like the little details they put on the inside. Yeah. There's the mini version. And then of course the Grand Emporium. I like the escalator and the walkie. Got an escalator. And they did not do a mini modular yet of the pet shop. And what's the other one? The town hall? Yeah. Haven't done a mini modular of that yet. Of course, those are new, the newer ones. So we're going to be taking all these apart. And they've been down here for a while. A lot of them got dust on them. And we can make our own mini Y'all got stuff y'all put in them too, haven't you? Additional details. You can tell what you can do that yeah, and the mini figures I think are all mixed up. Because we they do a <laughs> this little boy buying an ice cream cone, <laughs> or either. A guy holding another guy. <laughs> Let me see. What else do you got? Oh yeah, there's the computer nerd guy. He doesn't he doesn't belong with the set, does he? No. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, what else did you get? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a crime going on here. Yeah. So we're gonna be taking this <laughs> apart, and then of course this is part of the. Uh, Town, town hall. I like the inside. I'm not town hall. Um, town. It's like a corner or something. Boy, I forget what it's called. Corner or something. I like the inside. No, that's the that's the movie theater from the um. They redid that the set from the 60s, and they made the stuff more modern like that. And then the gas station. And then there's the town the, plan. Uh, the, the town plan. Yeah, that's what it was. Right there. Yeah. I was like in a Back to the Future movie of that. <laughs> There's a giant Mater truck. Yeah. There. So we gotta take all this apart, and we won't get every piece right in the box it belongs in, but we'll get most of them. Do you have, did you build something in that house? Is that your house? What, this? Which one? No, this, this one's one. my house. I mean, but you put stuff in here. Yeah, I put very good details in Let's it. Let's see what you did. A computer, I got yeah. a computer see? and a library. Yeah. Very good. So they did that. So there's going to be some extra pieces in these, but I'm, we don't plan on selling these. Mm -mm. So, but um. And I built like a spare yeah. garage to put my uh, lawnmower in. <laughs> okay, okay, very so. good. Uh, it's not up to the uh, covenants of your community, but we'll we won't say anything. Mm -hmm. All right, finishing spider webs. Spider webs. Oh, um. I see a spider web. So we're going to clean this mess up. Just wanted to make a video of it before I took it apart. I think we got some extra rats down here. Yeah. There's another rat over there. I like how in the Lego world you got like rats and there's a lot of crime. I know mm -hmm. the police are always having to chase people. It's, it's a high crime area uh, in the Lego world. Oh, look at that! You made a. You added those. Yeah, um, stores like yeah. little. A little shop, you put some yeah. stuff for sale. Oh, and pants. in some of the Lego City commercials, if you look closely, closely, you see actual crime robbery and stuff going on. Yeah, so there's a lot of crime in the Lego world, so I don't recommend living there. That's what the new uh, Lego City video game's about. Yeah. Well, we get all this stuff back together. We're thinking about doing some um, Lego house hunters. Yeah. <laughs> all right.